Dear students, in this video we will learn about how the nerve muscle preparation is done in the amphibian experimental physiology. So this is the nerve muscle preparation. We want to know what is this muscle, what is the nerve and from which animal it is taken. This is taken from frog or any amphibian. For this experiment we took it from frog. So why frog? Because of its easy availability, it is harmless and long time in vitro, that is outside body, tissue survival without extra oxygen and temperature control. Then why uh, gastrocnemius muscle? It is a bulky muscle. It gives good amplitude. It cannot be fatigued as easily. Sciatic nerve, why it is preferred? Because it is a long nerve and it, is easy, it can be easily mounted. Now what are the steps of preparation of nerve muscle? First step is the stunning, then is beating, then dissection and the mounting. So for this we require frog. We uh, may require some anesthetic agents like urethane, cloth, ringer solution, cotton, dissecting instruments and mounting materials. So first we will learn about the ringer solution. So this is the frog's ringer solution. What is the composition of it? It contains sodium chloride 0.6%. This is very important. And potassium chloride 0.14%. Calcium chloride 0.012%. Sodium bicarbonate 0.02%. Dextrose 1%. Distilled water 100 ml. Okay. Now what is the function of NaCl? This NaCl helps to maintain the isotonicity. One point is important here. This NaCl is 0.6%. What we normally use in ward and we give to human, that NaCl is 0.9% because that is isotonic with human plasma. Here it is isotonic with the frog plasma. That's why it is, its concentration is 0.6%. Then what is the function of KCl? KCl helps in the maintenance of membrane potential. What is the function of CaCl2? It helps to maintain the muscle excitability. Sodium bicarbonate provides the optimum pH. Dextrose is for nutrition and distilled water it acts as a solvent. Now the process that is first, uh, first process that is stunning. What is stunning? We have to make the frog unconscious first so that the muscles will, uh, uh, it, it will be painless when we dissect the frog that will be a painless process. So how can we <coughs> do the stunning? First hold the frog by its hind limb with a piece of cloth. Frog because frog skin contains mucous glands which are located over the entire body. These secrete slimy mucus which protects the delicate skin from the abrasive trauma and it prevents the water loss. Now this uh, mucus secretion also make frog very slippery so frog is held with a piece of cloth otherwise it may be slipped out from your hand now second thing stun the frog by its head against the edge of the table so it will uh, make the frog unconscious okay if you don't want to do this you can use 5 to 10 percent urethane as an anesthetic agent which is widely used as an anesthesia for animal studies because of its minimal effects on various body systems. Now the second thing is the peeding. What is peeding? Peeding of the frog is done so that uh, the animal does not feel any pain during this action. Okay. So what actually peeding does? It destroys the brain and it also destroys the spinal cord to abolish the spinal reflexes. So the muscles become flaccid and the dissection become easier and <coughs> peeding is done by a peeding needle. So while doing peeding, what we can do, hold the unconscious frog in the left hand using a piece of cloth if required and ventriflex flex the head with your index finger of the left hand. Why you will ventriflex? Because in that position you will feel a depression at the mid dorsal line where it actually intersects the imaginary line joining the posterior borders of the tympanic membranes 
okay so there is a depression dorsally and you have to feel it and this depression actually indicates the junction of the skull and the vertebral column now what you have to do through this depression you have to insert the breathing needle and first push it anteriorly into the cranial cavity and destroy the brain by rotating the needle then uh, so this is a anterior movement of the breathing needle then move it <coughs> or introduce the needle into the vertebral canal and rotate it to destroy the spinal cord okay now when it is destroyed then confirm whether the brain stem and the spinal cord are destroyed properly or not okay so whether the brain stem is properly peeled or not how can you see if the corneal reflex is absent that means that brain stem is properly peeled and if the withdrawal reflex it is absent that means the spinal cord is properly peeled or destroyed now the next step so we have stunned the animal make the animal unconscious then we have done the peeling but destroyed the brain stem and the uh, spinal cord now the third step is the dissection <clears throat> so these are the dissecting instruments we need we need a bone cutter scissor forceps dissection dissection board glass seeker ringer solution we know the composition and the cotton so this glass seeker is important because we have to handle the sighting now very carefully we should not touch it with some uh, <coughs> sharp instrument like uh, forceps or scissor so for handling the sighting now we have to use the glass seeker so first uh, place the frog in the prone position and give a circumferential skin incision at the middle of the trunk and strip the skin uh, till the limbs then cut through the muscles alongside the eurostyle and ex extend the incision upward so in this way and uh, here we can uh, find out the vertebral column take care not to injure the underlying sciatic nerves now in using the scissors cut the lower end of the eurostyle so we can here we can see the eurostyles at the lower end so <coughs> cut the Uh, lower end of the eurostyles by using scissors and by the bone cutter cut the upper end of the eurostyle and uh, cut the vertebral column 2 cm above the sciatic plexus okay so in this way you have to cut the lower end and the upper end and you have to separate it like this so it have to separate it like this so vertebral column cut the vertebral column 2 cm above the sciatic plexus okay bisect the vertebral column now you have to remove the thigh skin and expose you have to expose the sciatic nerve in the thigh trace the nerve with the help of the glass seeker proximally to the sciatic plexus and distally to the knee joint so proximally in the sciatic plexus we have already separated it now trace it up to the knee joint at the distal part and you have to isolate it from the adjacent structures so when we have uh, uh, identified it so uh, actually we have to remove the skin of the gastrocnemius muscle and while doing the process be careful that do not stretch the nerve or touch the nerve with any metal it it will be touched only by the glass seeker now uh, what we have to do when the gastrocnemius muscle skin it is taken out <coughs> tie one end of the long of a long thread around the tendon of the gastrocnemius muscle <coughs> and then separate the gastrocnemius tendon from its adjacent structure like this from its adjacent attachment now now the next step will be cut the thigh and the leg bones close to the knee joint and remove the redundant muscle in this way uh, you have to cut the knee joint and uh, remove the redundant muscle and place the nerve muscle preparation on a petri dish and dip it into the frog's ringer lactate solution so this uh, for frog's ringer solution and it is the now your nerve muscle preparation is ready 
so we have done stunning we have done pitting we have done the dissection now the last part is remaining that is the mounting so this is a mounting these are the mounting instruments for it we need an instrument that is a myograph board with the stand we need pin and an isotonic muscle lever so we have to mount the nerve muscle preparation on the myograph board we have to pass a pin through the fibrous capsule of the knee joint and we have to fix it uh, uh, to the cork in the board closure to the lever so in this way tie the tendon of the short uh, tendon uh, that is uh, we have already um, attached it with a thread so tie the tendon or the thread to the short arm of the muscle lever uh, muscle lever okay so in this way it is mounted on the my mounted over the myograph board so here we can see properly the muscle that is a gastrocnemius muscle and it is fixed with the at the knee joint with the help of a pin and the sciatic nerve is there and the electrode that is touching the sciatic nerve so by giving stimulation electrical stimulation to the sciatic nerve we can see the properties of the uh, gastrocnemius muscle which is a skeletal muscle so this is your nerve muscle preparation Thank you.